Okay, so last week Nike announced it will raise the price on three classic models we're used to from the Air Force One, the Air Max 90, and the Air Max 97. But I'm really confused why people are outraged, why it's actually such a big deal, because it should have happened way sooner. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. What's going on, everybody? To go TJ back with another video talks with TJ, aka TJ Two Swoosh T Yeezy MA Two TJ T Centrals, which you got on Friday. So go ahead and check that video out. Comparison, extra small versus small. But yeah, Nike news today. Two Swoosh news today. Okay. Well, it was really last week, but you know, videos were already slated. I don't know what you want me to do. Yes, Nike raised the price on three specific models, okay? The Air Max or the Air Max 90 and the Air Force One, at least for the triple white is what they, they showed us, but I'm guessing that's probably gonna be across the board. Went up by $10. And then uh, for the Air Max 97, it went up by five. Now for everything we've seen, they only showed us men, uh, men's sizing, men's pricing. So will that trickle down to uh, grade school and preschool and toddler and infant quite possibly who knows I wouldn't be shocked if it uh, if, if it did but I also don't think there should be this surprise this outrage and listen th for a number of reasons okay so we'll dive into those first off free will is always something that you have as a consumer if you don't like the direction a brand is going you don't like the price that they've chosen to set it, whatever you're not forced to spend your money. You're not in training day, okay? As Denzel said, it's like no one put a gun in your head and made you buy the shoe. That's not what's happening. I know we joke and say, oh, I just have to have it. Uh, I, I can't say no, okay? But you really can because no one's making you buy the shoe. So if an Air Force One, especially triple white, okay? Low, the Faso, if, if you aren't comfortable with paying $100 for that shoe anymore, don't pay for it. Don't buy any of the new pairs that are released. It's truly that simple. Now, also, if you are complaining about an uptick of $10 or $5 on a shoe where you're already spending disposable income on something you don't need of $90 and $100 and more for uh, uh, Air Max 97, if that's causing you to not be able to buy the shoe, did you have any business buying the shoe anyway? Five or ten dollars should not make or break buying decisions. I'm just being honest with you, especially for something like a sneaker that has the utility to be worn every single day. You could absolutely wear that shoe 365 days out of the year, which means you're getting quite a bit of value if you're wearing the shoe every single day. I think some of the outrage comes in if people have to pay a little bit more instead of paying 90 to pay 100 because you know in paying that 100, you're not gonna wear that shoe every day. And paying the 100, the 150, the 175, the 180, whatever price you're paying for the shoe, the shoe is not being worn every single day, okay? Unless you're paying for a basketball shoe or a shoe for lifting or the gym or running and you actively use it for what sneakers were intended for which is something athletic but that's not what we even use sneakers for well some of us don't use sneakers for that any anyway anymore so the the, the five or ten listen eat out once eat out less once a week I, I adore Chipotle, okay? If a shoe has gone up an additional $10, hey, I could not eat out at Chipotle that week. And look at that, I got the extra $10. The five or 10, you need to come to Jesus moment if that's what's stopping you from now buying the shoe. You were already spending 90, you were already spending $90. You didn't have to spend, didn't need to spend. This is the breaking point. Maybe just assess that, okay, separately. Also, look around you assess the room everything else has gone up cost of goods everywhere has gone up okay you go to the gas pump gas is up gas is always up for me because i have to get premium so i don't even complain about gas what am i gonna do walk no i'm not walking so i'm just gonna put the premium gas in my car if it's over four dollars a tank it truly is what it is uh gas has gone up go to the grocery store go to the supermarket the cost of food has gone up uh everything has gone up so why did you think it wouldn't carry over to shoes why did we think that sneakers and retail and at this point 
these are definitely not needs. They're not necessities. Trust me, they're not necessities. When those shoes got left back on those docks, when we were in the heart of everything going on the last two years, it proved to you they weren't necessities. They weren't essentials. They got left back for actual medical equipment and things this country needed uh, above you having shoes that you're not going to wear and that are just going to just sit there and chill out in your closet or in your home. So you... <sighs> How can I put this? We're not that special that we're not gonna also feel the effects of everything else that's going on in this country. Not to mention, it's a business. Why would you think at some point the cost of sneakers, like these sneakers wouldn't go up? I'm shocked they haven't gone up like sooner. I am shocked it's taken this long. You know why? Because no matter what we have proven, um, just as a consumer base, we will continue to buy those specific models. We have proven it doesn't matter the hype. It doesn't matter who's the new flavor of the week, what designer you've collaborated with as a brand, what new product line you have out. We will still go up for an Air Force One, especially a low in all white. We will still go up for Air Max 97. We will still go up for the Air Max 90. And they didn't need anything special. They didn't need collaborations to sell. Like, remember when this came out, okay? Nike didn't need anything special to convince us to buy this again for like the umpteenth time. They didn't. Uh, me personally now, uh, based on like, listen, just summer shoes, I'll be honest with you, I'm more likely to buy this consistently every summer uh, versus just the all white forces at this point. Like that really is that shoe now where I'm like, oh, I'll be honest, that's more comfortable. It's, it's sleeker. It's just more me now, at least at this point. It's not that I don't have Air Force One lows that are white. I do. They're just not the traditional standard ones. They're actually the women's pairs, and I just absolutely love them. Um, the double layer, everything is amazing for them. But why did we think this would never happen? Also, let's keep in mind, collaborations don't keep the lights on for brands. I know people think and assume that like a Travis Scott or rest in peace to Virgil, they keep the lights on. No, they may create a spark. They may draw in a brand new group of consumers that had never really bought into the loyalty or cared about Nike or Adidas or whatever, but that's not what keeps the lights on. Let's look at Adidas, okay? The Stan Smith, the superstar, that keeps the lights on for them. For Nike, it is going to be the Air Force Ones, the Blazers, the Air Max line. That's going to keep the lights on for them. What do you do when overhead is creeping up across the board? You raise the price on something that will consistently sell all year round. That's just smart business. At least to me it is. So I don't think there should be outrage about the uh, prices changing for all three pairs. It's up by 10 and $5. Don't like it? Don't buy them. I think, I think it's that simple, but it's smart business. It'll probably cover what they need to cover. So these are just my thoughts. Okay, go ahead and comment below. I'm sure you will. Always appreciate engaging with you guys. Uh, if you're brand new and you like what you see, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the like. I really appreciate it. And as always, act your age, not your shoe size. I should have some new arrivals coming in this week. And no, actually one is not expected to be Nike, but some Jordan on the way. All right, peace.